Welcome to Coldrop Vlog. We have started quiz application series in which we will create simple quiz app. So this is the second video. In the first video, we have created simple splash screen for a quiz app. And after this splash screen, a new activity is open. So today in this video, we will do designing of this main activity right which is open after the splash screen so now let's do some designing of it first of all we have to go to the layout now promotion time this is my channel coder vlog if you did not subscribe this channel you can subscribe this channel to support my channel and for more updates if you are interested in my daily life then you can subscribe this channel uh, in this channel you will find you will find vlogging type of content uh, so subscribe this channel also to support me and uh, if you are interested in learning program then you can uh, join this course which will be launched in next week folder and activity main at it here we have to remove first this hello world text or we have to write parent center vertically and horizontally okay so it is already and this is called vertical bias so with this we can move this text down and up so i want to move it up and uh, so the vertical bias is 20 so i want to move it little more up 17 is fine for me so now let's uh, change the text of the hello world with quiz app right and then let's increase the size of the text to 36 sp and change the color to dark blue let's make this uh, bold and capital all letter should be capital and also change the font family to to casual right so this look uh, better now now i have to create one more text so copy this text and paste and uh, i will change the position of this text i will record vertical constraint and bottom constraint or if i just remove this constraint and then make it center vertically and then horizontally so it will be more fine right so move it little bit upper for that change the value of vertical bias to 41 and uh, change the text to highest score highest score so this will show us what is the highest score and also change the size of the text to 28 sp right and below i need one more text so i will remove the constraint vertical constraint and i will set the constraint relative to the second text view and the third text view will show the score so it will show for by default it will be a zero and let's change the text family so it look beautiful so i need two buttons now one button is to start the quiz and the other button is to view the history record of the user that how he perform in a quiz so first of all i will take one button right and uh, i will center horizontally with parent and then i will click this this uh, arrow double arrow symbol which says wrap content this so it will fill all the area so i want that it has some gap some space 
horizontally for that I will make 16 dp space to both side then I have to name this button to name this button uh, yeah this will be start the text of this button will be start quiz and I need one more button so let's make it down and uh, the text of this button will be previous history right so let's make uh, this button constraint vertically so I will set uh, the bottom constraint to 16 and that is ok a similarly start quiz button constraint will be relative to this button and its space will be 16 dp between these two buttons so it, it look nice but space is a lot between two buttons so let's make it 8 dp so now it's look fine now so our uh, main activity design is ready so I need to do one more thing and that is when I click on this start quiz button so it will move to start quiz activity and similarly when I press on previous history button so it should move to a new activity of previous history which will show history of a user so let's create two activities two empty activities one is for start quiz right and the other is for previous history So that is ok so when I click on this button so I have here a property of on click so I can override the on click event of this button so let's say start quiz is the function which will be executed or by on click event of this button and similarly show history is another function so I have two errors here because these functions are not defined so I will go to main activity and I will define this function public wide start quiz import the view class and similarly the other function show history show history right So error here is gone because I have defined these two function in the backend code. So when I click on the start quiz, so it will so it will start a new activity. Main activity dot this start quiz dot class. So it will start the activity of start quiz activity and when I click on show history so it will open previous history activity so copy this code and paste here add here previous history so it will open previous history 
so now let's run the program and see the final output of this video so this is our uh, beautiful app quiz app so we have two button start quiz and previous history so now let's check the button on click event so it open new activity which is good and let's see the previous history on click event so it also open new activity which is fine so that's it for today video and this video we have designed the main activity front end which is very beautiful in the next video we will work on uh, start quiz page so stay tuned please subscribe my channel to get more updates and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.